Hi, I'm Louisa Litton and you're watching theappandcolors.com. So we're uh, sitting here with uh, Louisa Litton, yeah. um, UK superstar. Um, you know, we've uh, thank you for joining us at theupandcomers.com. Thank you for having me. Yes, your fans are just gonna go nuts when they see this. So, uh, thank you again. So let's talk. You number one, you are the definition of the up and comer, right? Like, I mean, you know, tell us a little bit about your big break, like. When did you get it? What was the show that kind of broke you? Um, I went to a theatre school at home for about six years and in my last year of school I got a part in a massive soap in, in London back at home. Um, I was 15 at the time, I'd just finished my exams. What was the soap called? Uh, EastEnders. The EastEnders, okay. The EastEnders. I just finished my exams. I went into the soap, I was there for two years. Then I left and did Strictly Come Dancing, which is Dancing with the Stars, uh -huh. the original version. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I did that, I, I came fourth, which was wow. you know, out of 14 couples, we came fourth. Um, and then straight from there, I went into a long running drama called The Bill, which is a show about police officers. And yes, I played a cop. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, even though a lot of people didn't think it was very believable, um, I got away with it. Okay. Uh, and then I was there for two years, um, and then I left. Can, can, can I ask just, um, so is this a part of like what got the fan base, like you putting men in handcuffs? I mean, I'm just keeping it real. Maybe. Okay. I, mean, I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there was, a, there was a, yeah, a little handcuff action. Okay. I'm um, going to go by the box set. Okay, but keep going. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, and then I left and then I didn't know, you know, what was coming next. Going back to auditions and then I landed this role in American Pie. So that leads me to my next question. So now you've broken out of the UK. Yeah. Um, so you're, now, yeah. you're doing like, I mean, it's when I talk out of the UK, I mean like, you're doing American pie. Yeah. It gets no more or less UK than that, so. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm still playing a British character. I'm playing a British exchange student. Um, but yeah, it's a big break. It's, it's out of the UK. It's a massive franchise, you know, and I'm really proud to be part of it. Okay, so question is, um, so you were on Dancing with the Stars, Strictly Dancing, the original, the UK version. Um, let me ask you, what's uh, Len Goodman like? I love Len. Really? Granddad Len, yeah, I absolutely love him. Um, I did a tour uh, at home, we have a Strictly Come Dancing, the live tour. Oh, they do a tour after, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, it tours all the arenas. Um, I did the first one, uh, when was that? January just gone. Um, so Len was on tour, so you kind of really get to know the judges, and they're all so lovely, and you know, it's their job, and they, they do have good advice, but Len has to be my favorite. You see, I, I haven't I haven't seen uh, Dancing with the Stars. Sorry, Strictly Dancing. I haven't seen it, but I've seen Dancing with the Stars, and I know how Len Goodman how he can get. So, was there ever a time that he gave you bad feedback? Uh, yeah, yeah, there was. But we have a Craig Rubble Hallwood is our like evil um, judge at home, so he kind of gives me the really bad comments. Len was just always really nice to me. Now I saw the the, the episode. I saw there was four judges. Um, there was a, there was a woman, and there was uh, and there was uh, Bruno. No, you Bruno. Had, you yeah. Had Bruno. Yeah. Bruno. yeah. Now, yeah, Bruno's cool. Yeah, Bruno's really cool. Yeah, okay. they're, they're all really cool. They're really nice. Okay. Now, who's the evil judge you're talking about? Uh, Craig Rappaport, who is <laughs> the nicest guy, but he's like the evil judge. He wishes he was Simon Cowell. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Um, so he's always giving the you know the horrible comments. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. You need to get him over there. Uh, You'd like him. <laughs> yeah, get him on the up and comer. Yeah, he's so beautiful. I mean, I'm so, I'm honestly so lucky with the girls that I've been given to work with. Um, you know, it's such a big, it's such a big reason. You come over here, you're eight hours away from home, you don't know anyone. And um, me, Mel, and Beth, another girl who plays Heidi in the film, yep. we just clicked and we get on so well. And yeah, she's, she's beautiful. She's going to shoot up. Now, look, okay. So, so what's it like, you know, you got the, you know, I, I heard through the grapevine, you got the paparazzi following you. You have your mail that I've got the Okay, fine, man. I was trying to be, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I was trying hard. Actually, you know, to be completely honest, where I first heard it was from you. Because I had gone on set to hear, uh, to film Mel. Yeah. And, and, uh, and you were walking, you said, I'm going to go with the paparazzi. And then you said something, and she's like, take your pictures, cut the window, say my name. And I'm like, 
What? Oh, I know, it was and, crazy. And I was on set, um, I'm on set, and all of a sudden some guy's going, Louisa, Louisa, in an English accent. So I was like, oh, someone I know. Friendly yard, yeah. I turned around, and yeah, this guy's hanging out the window. Um, I, I don't know, like, it was a bit strange. I, I don't really get that a lot at home. So I was like, mm, maybe it was someone that kind of, you know, wired me out. Um, but yeah, then my mum calls me two days later. You're in the paper, I don't know, carry the Starbucks. Stop drinking okay, coffee. Okay, <laughs> like, okay, okay. And then since then, they've been outside the hotel. Um, oh, they're staying outside your hotel yeah, now? Yeah, outside the hotel. Just, I mean, I'm not very interesting. I can't, you know, can't really give them anything. He's like, you just came out like a tiger cat, and you just purred all over the floor. You're like a devil. I'm like, whoa. No, he's crazy. I don't know where he gets it from. It's just like one after the other. Yeah. I think he's called me a, a bouncing, bubbly, baby, something dumb. <laughs> I don't know. The, yeah, he's so crazy. Strictly Dancing came out before um, Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. We've had it maybe seven, seven or eight series now, so seven or eight years. Okay. Um, and then you stole it from uh oh, <laughs> it's so nice. But now we got little Kim on it, and uh, you. little Kim. It's just it's. The, I mean, it's from a person coming with the hardest raps. You know, being like, yo, I can't, I can't. I'm not gonna cuss, but like, just the hardest raps to. Oh yeah, um, I can't even sing the stuff. But she, you know, doing the nice, sweet dancing. But I, I'd rather hear her doing the hardcore raps. Yeah. I grew up on little Kim. Yeah. And um, yeah. but I mean, it's. The reason for that most of us do it is so we can kind of see a different side to it. Absolutely, you know? yeah. So that's obviously why she's doing it. You never know, she probably wants to go into movies and do so she wants people to see her as... In a different light. Yeah. yeah, which it's makes sense. Which yeah. makes sense, so yeah. we can see that. Now, your fans are seeing you in a different light because... Um, you really have... You know what we should do? We should do, like, man on the street, go out to that damn Starbucks and see what's really good. See if the paparazzi is outside right now. Yeah. No, mind that they won't be. The one day... Yeah, the one day. So they took Saturday off, right? But mind you, we... Um, what is your craziest fan experience? Hmm. Um, I have a lot of stuff sent to me that, you know, shouldn't be seen. I shouldn't be looking at. Um, but normally a lot of my fan mail goes to my agent first or to the show that you're working on. They, they, they tend to open everything before they give it to you because you can get some, you know, some strange stuff. For sure. From Anthrax. And, yeah. Just st crazy stuff. Um, but I haven't really had any bad experiences. Not a bad experience, but like a crazy experience because like if you had somebody come up to you and it was like, <gasps> I've, had, I've, had, like I've had young girls kind of cry when they meet me, which is the most rewarding thing I think I've ever, you know. It's so you're, you're a Spice Girl. If you have somebody it's crying crazy. at you, you're a Spice Girl. If you have yeah. girls crying, you're the equivalent of New Kids on the Block, Backstreet it's Boys, crazy. and the Spice Girl. I think it's after Strictly Come Dancing, and young girls at home absolutely love that program, and I was 17 when I did it, so a lot of young girls kind of could relate to me. Um, and yeah, straight after that, I, I remember, yeah, a few times kind of being out, and just young girls coming over going, oh, you, Louisa, yeah, and start crying and getting in the state, and I mean, it's just, it's so strange, you know, it's something you'll never get used to, I don't think. Okay, so being from London, I'm going to tell you what I, what I associate London with, because I, I lived in London for three months, not a lot of people know that, nobody believes me, but, uh, I believe you. you believe me, yeah, I, I sound British. <laughs> yeah, okay, see, I could, I'll, I'll go there another three months, come back, you'll be like, oh, it's my cousin, yes. Um, okay, so I'll tell you what I associate a London with. Um, what is a wanker? A wanker. It's a bird word. Oh, you, you were offended by the, she said, that's like I called her, okay, anyway. But, it is a really rude word, um, and it's funny, they wanted me to use it in the film, and I was like, well, that's fine, but... I don't think it's as offensive here as it is at home. Thank you so much for uh, you know coming on the Up and Comers. You've you, 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 you made your fans so happy. I say friends. I said friends in there. You've made your fans so happy. And um, yeah, again, thank you very much.